Welcome, Minnie Collins here for Paper Sweeties. Today we're going to create this mini slimline card called Hey You. So let's go to the products we use. I'm going to use the new stamp set, Gather, and the Hey There stamp set. The new set has the words Gather, Welcome, Repeat, Girl Boss, Thank You, and rest. We're going to just use the You from that. From the Hey There, we're going to use our little cow and the sentiment Hey There. Where I have my little cow here, which I've colored with C1 and a little R30. We have some strips of green cardstock that we're gonna use for our grass, some pattern paper from Doodlebug, our heavyweight card base, which is 110 pounds, which is three by six, and our sentiment strip, which is a piece of white cardstock, and that's what we're gonna start off with now. Um, I went ahead and cut this down, and I even fishtailed one end. I'm trying to make sure that my sentiment will fit nicely how I want it. So I'm just going to fiddle with it for a little bit. Once I get more or less where I want it, I want to make sure that they, there, the hay there will work how I want. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in my VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, and I'm going to ink up my stamp that says U. I'm going to stamp that onto our fishtail banner here. Closest, putting the U closest to the little fishtail area. Stamp that nice on there. I'm going to remove that stamp and I'm going to bring in the Hey There stamp set. Then I'm going to use some post it tape and I'm going to mask off the part that says There. Then I'm going to ink up my stamp. Then I'll remove my post it and then you can see the word There isn't inked up, just the Hey part. And I'm going to line that up and stamp it. So now we have a sentiment that reads, Hey You. So this is basically like a hello card. Okay, so now let's bring in our car, or the rest of the components for our card. I'm going to layer these two pieces of green cardstock. So I'm going to use a little uh, Barely Art glue. And I'm, these are left over from a previous project, and I figured why not use them for grass. So I'm just going to go ahead and layer them up so that the darker ones in the background, this creates some dimension to our card. So I'm gonna quickly adhere those two strips together and then I'll trim off any extra that's here, that's left over. I'm just holding it on next to the card panel. But I'm gonna stack these because I want them to be look like fuller, like our cows in a little meadow, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that these panels are adhered and they are so now I'm going to go ahead and glue adhere the top one first just tucking it behind the front the, the bottom one straighten it out a bit not that it really matters because it's grass but just wanted to keep it a little straight and then I'll adhere this little one here using some some foam adhesive so we can have a little dimension and we can tuck our little cow in behind it. All right, so I'm going to fluff up the little area here. I realized I need a little adhesive here. And I'm sorry, I'm creating on a piece of white cardstock because I was getting too much glare on my desk. And now the white cardstock is moving everywhere and it's driving me crazy. All right, so I'm going to line this up. Once I have that all lined up, I will tuck our little cow behind it. Just trimming off any excess because we don't want any overhang. So there's our little cow. I have some foam adhesive on our little cow as well. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing of all that foam adhesive. And I'm going to be honest with you, this is my least favorite part of creating, is removing the tab, the back of foam adhesive. I just have a hard time with it, so that's why it's not my favorite part. All right, so once I get my little cow tucked in here how I want it, there he is, all nestled. I know where I'm going to put my sentiment, which is right up here. And I'm going to put some foam tabs on the back of that. See, now I don't like removing the foam backing, back into the foam tabs, but I do like some dimension. So there you go, catch 22. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead, figure out exactly where I want it. I need a little bit more. I want it to be nice and firm. I'm going to remove the backing off of that. And then I'll adhere our sentiment to our card panel. 
try to make sure it's straight. Once I know it's on there straight, I will press it down and then I will remove any excess um, from our panel. So I'll cut off that extra white right there. So now I'm going to adhere this card panel to my card base. And I've trimmed this so that I have a nice little border all the way around our uh, card front here. I want some of that little white there coming through. Let me see if I can get it centered. <laughs> okay, so once I have this on here centered, all right, so now our card is basically complete. I'm just putting applying some more pressure. And at this point, if, if you want, you can add embellishments or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some glitter embellishments really quickly here and call it done putting some right there by the sentiment. So again, we use our gather se sentiment strip and the hay there uh, stamp set. Our little cow and our hay there, which we masked off. And our gather, we use the U here, which is a wonderful stamp, sentiment stamp. A little doodle bug paper to add to the cuteness. So thank you so much. I hope you found some inspiration. Don't forget to hop along with the rest of the design team for more. Uh, fun cards. <laughs>